hello guys welcome to my channel in this video video series we are going to create a to do app in jetpack compose so if you have not downloaded yet the jetpack uh, compose download the latest version of jetpack compose bumblebee or artist artist fox whichever you like it and after downloading it uh, create a new project from here so new project and choose the empty compose activity not the empty activity we, otherwise it will make the regular android project and not the compose project so make sure to choose this one and click next and then select your location and everything and hit finish I have already created uh, the setup so I am going to cancel it so this is main activity after creation of the project but uh, before that we need to do some uh, we need to add some dependency so let's go to the build.gradle file the project uh, gradle file the project level based and we need to add these two extension for activity compose version and view model to use view model and after that we also need to define the kotlin version which is this one 1.4.32 and these are all the latest version version for this ex extensions and yeah then hit the sync button here and after that we need to add some app level dependency into our build.gradle in this one so as you can see i have already added most of these i have already all of these actually so yeah let's see what we need here so most of these codes you will get by default and uh, let's see what we need make sure to have the built feature compose true otherwise it will not work the compose setup will not work and uh, yeah and then you need these dependencies so yeah add the add these dependencies in your gradle file app level so jet brains kotlin kotlin standard lib library core android core android x core and android x app compact and we also need google android material because we are going to use uh, icons which are directly taken from material so in order to use the uh, those icons we need um, the material dependency and then we need the fragments and the activity compose which we have declared earlier in the project level build grid file and we also need the life cycle view model and life cycle live data because we are going to use life cycle and live data also view model compose and these are you can you can leave it for later or you can define if you want it right now the compose animations and foundation these are all required to build the basic things in compose if you want to learn more about the foundations you can you know, copy this uh, whole dependency and you just go to google and you can go to these links and learn more if you want to learn more about the foundations so it's taking a little bit longer
so it's late taking longer so we will come back to see what are these foundation it has basically have layouts and so let's get back to our app and we also need material compose version Yeah, the compose version of material where did it go and uh, icons so we are using pre-built icons from material icons and runtime live data and runtime and ui and ui tooling so make sure to implement all of these and then after that hint hit the single button and then we are ready to go ready to build our to do app so let's start so the first thing we are going to do is to build a data class for our app so we will just define here a kotlin file or class data class and let's define our enum for icons because the icons are part of data so we need to define all the icons so let's define our uh, enum class for icons so enum class to to icons and then we are going to pass two parameters one for image vector so where image vector of type image vector it is the first option showing me and the second parameter is going to be a content description description sorry so content description of type int so you are thinking description should be of type string but it's in no because we are not hard coding the description we are going to extract it from the string resource file so for that we need to annotate it with uh, string resource yeah and uh, after that we need to define all our, our icons so let's define our icons so the first icon is going to be a uh, square so is there no s q a r u square and then we pass the icon type so icon dot default it's not taking must be something wrong icon no icon yeah this one in oh, oh. No, no, no. Uh, oh, it's my mistake, guys. So, icon, icons, not icon. Icon dot default dot crop square, and the second parameter will be r dot string dot. Um, square oh. so bad with typing square square which is showing in red color because I have not defined it yet so yeah we will do it later and then we need to define the next item which is done so icons why it's icons dot default dot 
return r dot string dot item next item is going to be event so i can start the for dot event The next one is going to be privacy. So privacy tick dot string dot. And the last one is trash. We store from trash and r dot string dot trash. So that's it. And we have our enum class ready. Let's quickly define these string variables or string resources. So, a string name. What was the first item? A square. Let's call it. What should we call it? Let's call it expand. And let's copy and paste it quickly. The other strings. second third one is event so declare me the event and i think the fourth one is privacy yeah privacy so let's call it privacy and the last one is trash let's call it restore so that's it we have done with uh, our enum class for to do icons now let's build our data class so the data class will consist of three things the task the icon and the primary key so let's define our data class value of task of type is string and then we need our icons which we just declare above so value icon to do icons add is shows above to do we need to do another thing we just forgot so we need to define a default default uh, icon so let's do it right now i have just declared it as done but what we need is do here is to define a companion object which is by it's not showing for some reason companion object 
and here we define our default value so tpf in default equals and then we are going to choose a square as a default value so the companion object is uh, what we used to do in java as uh, a static uh, a static objects and yeah these object are single tone so yeah let's define the default so we are still getting an error to one oh, we did not ended the line with semicolon so yeah this is our data class which is ready and oh, the data class is not ready yet we need to provide another parameter for primary key which is going to be value it which is going to be the type of UUID equals UUID dot random UUID so that's it for this video so we will move forward in this series with another video so if you have any confusion hit me in the comment below so also you can write me feedback on how I can improve my instructing style so that's it from now guys and I will see you in the next one